this tutorial, we're going to review how to integrate charts into your Word document. Uh, a lot of people think that in order to put a chart in there, they have to go to Excel, create it, and set that all up, copy it, paste it over into Word. And that will work. However, Word offers a great way to integrate charts directly without ever having to touch any other application like Excel or something like that. So uh, we have our empty document right here. And to add a chart, all we have to do is come up to Insert and then come over to that little chart icon. We'll click on that and it brings up a chart wizard. And here you could pick out any type of chart you want. You have columns, uh, they also have uh, spots where you can create your own templates if you find charts that you use a lot. Uh, line, par graph, uh, horizontal bars, everything like that. For this tutorial, we're going to create a pie chart. Uh, but you could do this for uh, literally any type of chart that you have. So select Pi, and we're going to select kind of that 3D one right there. Hit OK, and the it, uh, Word will create it for us. And you can see there's our chart. It looks great. Uh, and they the way that the data gets inputted in is it gives you a little uh, spreadsheet right below it. And this table can stay in the document if you want, or you can, after you're done, just get rid of it so it doesn't get printed out or that kind of thing. Uh, so the very first thing that we're going to do is uh, come down here to the bottom, and we're going to change a few of these things up. So uh, it gives you a template where you could put in first quarter, second quarter, third, and fourth. Uh, but we actually want to do one that's on a monthly basis. So uh, we're going to come in here and say January, February, March, April, uh, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Okay, so we have uh, all of these lined up right here, and you, what you can yeah, you can see what it did all of a sudden now instead of saying first through fourth quarter at your legend changes right here and all of these get added if for some reason they don't get added which I have seen sometimes all you have to do is come up here to this little blue air uh, blue box click it and drag it down so the purple and the blue area are both covering all your content and so since we're going to be doing this with sales, we're going to put in some bigger numbers here. So we're going to say 10,000, then 15,000, 20,000, uh, 12,000, 13,000, 19,000, 14,000, oh, 14, not 14, 14,000, 18,000, 5,000, September is a slow month, 12,000, 13,000, and then December, because it's a big month, we're going to go 25,000. And now you can see automatically all that data that we just inputted right there gets placed into that chart. And so I can click away. And uh, like I said, if we wanted to, if we're done uh, editing this content, you can simply click this X button and you're done. Uh, it offers a great way to be able to integrate charts without having to deal with Excel and you have a lot of other options. So say you created this and you feel like you want something uh, styled differently. Uh, as soon as you added that chart in, you automatically got taken into this chart tools ribbon. And so now you can see you have a lot of different options right here. You can change the color scheme. Uh, so you could do something like if you want to go with more blue hues, you could click something like that. Um, you can do something even more colorful. Uh, we'll stick with that one. And then you can also come up here and select a totally different type of style. So if you want to do something where you put in all the percentage breakdowns, right, it does all of the math for you. So you can see even though we might have typed in gross numbers like 10,000, 20,000, that kind of thing, uh, it took those numbers and ran the equations for you because it knows you're running a pie chart so it assumes that you're going to want to uh, you're going to want to have a percentage breakdown. So it runs all of those for you. Uh, you can also 
pick out some of these other ones and it does the same type of breakdown and gives you some great looking uh, different pie charts to choose from. This is also available in every one of the other charts. Uh, you can also come up here and you have different ways to format the text and color scheme, everything like that. I really like the way this one looks, so I'm not even really going to mess with it. Um, if I ever felt like there were some things that needed to change, all I had to do is come up, click select data up here, and then it brings up my Excel, little kind of mini version of Excel right here. And I can go in and say June wasn't actually 19,000, say that was 29,000. And you can see that is reflected right up here. It changes automatically for you. So as you can see, uh, Word does a great job. They have a lot of powerful chart tools in here that make it so you can do 100% of your work right inside the application. So if you walk through this tutorial and create, started creating your own charts, congratulations. Please let me know if you have any other questions on how this works.